I'll reference the shortcut here in a moment. Um, but first, I want to show you a way that you can do these even without the shortcut. x plus 7 squared. When you square something, you're multiplying it by itself, right? So this is really the same as x plus 7 times x plus 7. Now, if you were to foil that out, x times x is x squared. x times 7 is 7x. Inside, 7 times x is 7x. And then the last... 7 times 7 would be 49. So if we combine the like terms, we would end up with x squared plus 14x plus 49. And that is the correct answer. Now, if we're going to learn a shortcut here in a moment. If you kind of reference up to this square of a binomial, you'll see it says when you have a quantity squared, you square the first term, right? A was what they listed as our first term. You square the last term, and then in the middle is when you multiply A times B, you multiply the two terms, and then you multiply it by 2 for the middle. Now look at what we ended up with. Our first term was x, so we have x squared. Our last term was 7. 49 is just 7 times 7. So you square the first term, you square the last term. The middle term was when you multiply them together and then multiply by 2. x times 7 is 7x times 2 gives you 14x. And the reason you multiply it by 2 is because we ended up with two of the same things here, two of those 7x's. And you always will with problems like this. So let's try this one with the shortcut. If you need to fall back and write it twice and foil it, do that, because you'll still get the same answer. 4k minus 3 squared. If we square the first term, 4k times 4k would be 16k squared. The middle term, remember, is when you multiply them together and multiply by 2. Now 4k times negative 3 would be negative 12k. And negative 12k times 2 would be negative 24k. The last term is always plus, because if it's a positive times positive, it's positive. If it's a negative times negative, it's positive. 3 squared is 9. 3 times 3. If you can't remember, write it twice and FOIL it. But we're going to practice these three with the shortcut t plus 6. Square the first term, t squared. The middle term, we multiply them together. 6 times t is 6t times 2 would be 12t. And then you square the last term. 6 times 6 is 36. All right, two more. 5y times 5y is 25y to the second. 5y times 1 is 5y. Then we need to double that, so 10y. And then the last term is 1 times 1, which is 1. Cool, one more. 7m times 7m is 49m to the second. Now, when we're multiplying different letters here, like you're doing m times p, you just mush them, make it mp. Uh, you typically just put them in alphabetical order. So think 7 times negative 2 would be negative 14. We have the m and the p. But remember, we need to multiply that by 2. So we'll have negative 28 mp. It's always plus. And then you square the last term. 2p times 2p is 4p squared. Now we're going to talk about the difference of squares, which is actually a nice shortcut. 